Alrighty, my friends. Come back just in time for these ting, 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 ting to, end, uh, to finish. Almost perfect timing. Alright, so we just need some amount of computers more. Everyone in chat, please log off Steam. <laughs> 27. 29. How many more is that? I'm gonna need eight supercomputers per geyser. Ugh. Oh god, so I gotta build even more of these guys. <coughs> that will suggest two batteries per pure geyser. The wiki suggests two batteries per pure geyser, one per normal, 0.5 per impure. Makes it you're guaranteed to always capture at least the average output. Okay. We need some more plastic, looks like. You know, I think I might actually have some extra computers sitting in here from when we found crash sites. Okay, so I actually have enough extra computers for a couple more uh, to, to make a couple of the geysers too. So that will, well, those are regular computers. I wonder if I have any supercomputers in there. I might. It's only 18, uh, only 18, um, There's only 18 geysers on the map? Okay. Wow, really? And I'm close to four of them? That's a pretty nice location for us, I guess. Interesting. Oh, that was just computers, not supercomputers, so I'll have to make more high-speed connectors if I actually want to make the geysers. You're going to do the weekly Destiny stuff with the friends. You're going to leave. Hopefully remember to join stream tomorrow. All right, NTP. Enjoy your Destiny, my friend. We will see you next time. Northern Forest area is close to quite a few, and Crater Lakes is south of that. Cool. All right. Programmable splitters, eh? Geothermal generator. This is the first time I've ever unlocked this. Beautiful. Okay. Geothermal generator. 16 high speed connectors, 8 supercomputers per. Do I have any of those in here? I have a couple high speed connectors. Don't have any supercomputers. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to manually make a bunch of these things. Okay, I got it. so I gotta make even more. Uh, so computers, high speed connectors, what's the high speed connectors? Again, how many do I wanna make? So it's more, it's the uh, quick wire and it's the circuit boards I need. An average of 4,500 megawatts power if you tap all of them. Personally, I think they're balanced wrong. They need supercomputers unless you handcraft them like this. The time you have supercomputers, you don't need a measly 4,500 megawatts, huh? A measly. How many of these can I make right now? Only seven. I need to go check my quick wire. My quick wire is not overflowing into my storage correctly, I don't think. What did I run out of? I ran out of quick wire, yeah. And I basically got all of my quick wire that I currently have to turn into these guys. Setting a map wide power network is enough trouble by itself that the actual generator should not be that hard to make, you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't think I'm going to do a full map thing right now. That would just take way too much time. I'll get the ones that are close to us if I can do it without taking too much more time and crafting supercomputers. I'm probably not going to spend too much more time on this because I can, I can start getting a fuel power set up now. I need to go figure out why I'm not getting quick wire. I think I think my quick wire that's backed up is the one that's not getting sent to overflow. I need 
need to set up. Yeah, this quick wire is being used as quick. Oh, here's my bottleneck right here, I think. Yeah, I have a bottleneck. No wonder I wasn't making enough earlier. Should have known. This little belt right here is my bottleneck. There we go. Okay. So, and then also I have this quick wire not going anywhere. So, I want to put a smart splitter for overflow on that. Which would mean I would need to get a merger onto here. So there's going to be a little overlap by doing this, but I'm going to not let that bother me. That's going to be... That. And then I smart splitter on this guy, because this guy's backed up, because we're... Uh, I think this is for something that's whatever. It's full. I don't know. Any undefined. Right is none. Mark three belt. Go into there. There we go. And that should help the bottleneck, and that will send quick wire to our overflow here. Mark three belt. There we go. And I probably have a bunch of quick wire in here I can just grab actually right now. Yep. Why? Okay. There we go. I can manually transfer that for our cells right now. Pieboy lets it bother him. Sorry, Pieboy. Sorry. We've never made the jump pads. Are they any fun? I made them on my last run. They're okay. Um, I don't love them. Uh, I feel like if you don't have jetpack to, like, land safely, then they can be dangerous if you <laughs> mess up. Alright, we'll see you later, MTP. I think the game should have small solo panels you could use early game. They teach players that bio burners stop running when the network doesn't need them. It would also be too much of a pain to supply all your power without putting in at least as much effort as other sources of power. Then later game, have orbital infrastructure you build with the space elevator so you could put a whole bunch of resources into that and start getting energy from orbital solar planets that you build receivers for. That sounds crazy. They said in a dev diary, diary it's, it's explicitly they will never add solar. Yeah. Like, I know, I still want it. <laughs> Jump pads are fun to bounce cars around on. I have never done that, though. Okay, so I'm running out of wires. So I want 16 supercomputers. Because that would give me enough to build two geysers. We'll probably start with two geysers. Factory cart plus jump pads. Okay, alright. I could see that being fun. Never played with that myself, but... Sounds interesting. And I bet you what I just fixed there with that uh, bottleneck on my quick wire was the reason my computers were not being made at 100%. That will hopefully fix all that. All right, so I need eight supercomputers. And actually, what I can do is uh, one, two. And. 32 mo uh, high speed connectors. Okay. Just have to remake those after we turn those into supercomputers. Realistically, all the solar would be hooked up in orbit, and I, unlimited power, should be going down the tether. It kind of sounds like they wouldn't want to do solar power because it would make other power obsolete. Because if you just put enough resources and time into it, it'd be forever infinite power that you don't have to. I mean, I guess kind of some of the other power is too, but like just, it seems more simplistic than I would think they'd want their power requirements to be, if that makes sense. I don't know if what I just said makes sense. Okay, 
I should have got plastic. <clears throat> Someone made a factory cart mini golf course using pulse novelisks and jump pads. <clears throat> nice. All right, so three more. Power is supposed to have a re all is always supposed to have a resource trade off, except the geysers, which are very limited. Yeah. All right, so one more, and then I just need to make the high speed connectors. Okay. High speed connectors. Need more cables. Okay. Almost done with the ting, 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 ting. Almost done. Hopefully this will all be worth it. 32 high-speed connectors. This won't take long. So we'll access quick wire back down in our stores down here. Grab some heavy modular frames. And we will be good. But the ting, ting, ting is so smoothing. So soothing. So smoothing. So soothing though, huh? We'd make a system where solar panels need cleaning by hand with early game ones. Wow, that's interesting. You have to clean the solar panels. What if it rains? Would the rain, like it's raining right now, <coughs> uh, auto clean them? Yeah, we're at least getting some in here now, that's good. Uh, heavy modular frames. Okay, so do, does the geothermal show up? Looks like it doesn't actually. Okay. Um, geyser. This way. Looks like there's three over here. All right, well, let's go set up geothermal power for the first time. I'm hyped. Yep, right over here. That's why I was looking earlier. Rain can also deposit silt, so really dirty ones would get cleaner, but not perfectly clean ones. Okay. Uh, you can make a stupid amount of nuclear power in this game, but in exchange you have to use a huge amount of nitrogen. There's not much of that, and the nitrogen is what you need to make the late game part. You actually need lots of power for. Sounds like a chicken or the egg kind of situation. Purposely designed that way, I'm guessing. Okay. So we got... Are these two geysers or three geysers here? Looks like two. And what kind of geysers are these? Normal... And pure. One normal, one pure. Let's see what this looks like. Um, do I need to hook up anything to this, or is it just a power line? I think coming off the sides looks like once water come off it or something. That is cool looking. All right, so would I just plug this to my power grid, or do I want to plug this to a battery, I wonder? I forgot to grab more fuel. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't say I was going to do that, but I will eventually. Let's plug it to power, see what that looks like. Production. I'm going to guess it's going to fluctuate from this guy. So what does this mean? It's anywhere between 200 and 600 megawatts, I guess. Oh, is this its own battery? No, that's probably just power. My, my battery's back at my base. Well, that's an interesting sound that it's making. All right. A lot of work just to get... Okay, that's actually... That raised our capacity by a good chunk. 
Still not enough for our max construction capacity. What does this guy look like? The other one is what, 200 to 600? This one is 100 to 300. Okay. Our guys with geothermal new. Um, I think they were in the game the last time I played, but I never got to the tech to use them. Or the geysers were in, but the power plants weren't available. I, I don't. I don't know. But I'm. I was about two, two um, patches behind when I started playing this time. Excuse me. All right, let's go get some fuel, and I think what the next thing we got to do is we got to start planning our our fuel power. So, the rest of the stream is probably going to be planning fuel power, starting to get that built. Batteries can be anywhere on a grid; doesn't have to be next to generator unless you want it to be. Cool. You missed this area when you played. Well, apparently there's only a certain number of geothermal vents, or thermal vents, I guess they're called. The pure one northeast. Okay, well, I don't have the supercomputers and I don't want to. I'm kind of done with manually making supercomputers for today. So uh, maybe next time we play, we'll we'll check about uh, going and doing those. Maybe off stream at some point I can uh, work on that. All right, so if I want to get fuel power, fuel generator. So we insert fuel in these guys. And fuel is made from fineries. I actually have turbo fuel. I have residual fuel and fuel plus polymer resin. This is gonna be a ginormous build. Fuel builds are always crazy big. How's it going with the experimental stuff? How's the new zone? Anything broken? The only thing that's broken for me, Wamebola, are um, two mob types. I haven't seen the spider, the scary spider guys. And um, the spawners that spawn the flying things are borked. But apparently the patch today might fix that. So maybe next time we play that'll be all fixed. I think I'm going to need some more motors pipes for these things. Okay. Uh, motors. Alright, anything else I will need? What about regular iron plates? Yeah, we used up most of those. You get sworn by them when you signed in after updating? Well, there you go. They're fixed now. Okay, there it is. So, um, the only thing I've noticed, I think, there might have been some other small things, but nothing major that I noticed. Okay, so let's go get pick up fuel for our jetpack, and then see what we can do for creating... I, I think we probably want to create turbo fuel for fuel generators, right? Isn't turbo fuel, like, way more efficient? I feel like the last time I played... This was the time when I made a giant... It was either plastic and rubber or a big fuel build. And that's when I quit. I think it was plastic and rubber. So, I think I had a, the start of a decent uh, fuel power thing. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, I have, I have packaged fuel upstairs. You wanted spiders, now you get them. <laughs> okay. Most skip turbo fuel and go nuclear. How much fuel do we got, by the way? Honestly, we're not making that much fuel. I'm guessing that's because our plastic and rubber are backed up, so we're not creating enough... Uh, what is this called? Uh, heavy oil residue is probably what we're not making enough of. The fluid UI bug is fixed as well today. Fluid UI, okay. Oh, where it fills up every time? Yeah, because my plastic and rubber is backed up. I think plastic and rubber being backed up is actually bad for us. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, I'm going to... I was thinking of this earlier. 
I'm going to have an extra awesome sink over here. If plastic and rubber backs up or heavy oil residue backs up, that usually you kind of have to keep those in balance. From my memory of those things. So if I don't want them backing up, I need to sink my excess fuel and um, rubber so that the, the heavy oil residue is continuing to be made. You don't think turbo fuel is a good value compared to nuclear? Is anything a good value compared to nuclear? This would be my question. Thank you for moving the tree. A little triggering when that came through the floor. Well, this one I don't think I can remove, though. Yeah, this one won't let me remove it. This is a special um, tree for the tree museum. Um, how about right here? Fuel's a good place to go. You just wouldn't go to turbo fuel. Okay, so fuel is good. Turbo fuel, not as good. Gotcha. So we're going to do... Oh, these are connected. Oh, that's great. So I can just have this running over here. That's perfect. So what we're going to do is... Smart splitter. Uh, these stacked on top of each other would not be good. So let's have it this way. This way. Center is any undefined. Right will be overflow and left will be none. We have this trying to be sent to the awesome sink over there, but I actually unplugged it and there's just too much stuff being sent to the sink over there, so it's not really flowing like I'd like. So I'll do a Mark II belt to a merger over here. Mark three belt there. So hopefully that will make it so our rubber and plastic won't back up as much. And let's just go mark four belt. Uh, diluted fuel is very helpful, though you saw a breakdown showing turbo fuel is a better value. Making compact coal isn't hard, but you need a lot of it. Diluted fuels in tier seven with blenders. Mathematically speaking, turbo fuel is better, but in terms of the work to set them up, you'd rather just build a few extra refineries to make twice as much fuel than deal with making compacted coal and all the extra plumbing. Okay. Let's figure out how I'd want to do this. Because bottom floor is plastic and rubber, and I think I want to keep those only those two things on that floor. This floor is coke that we're turning into power. What if I did do fuel on this floor? What if I did fuel on this floor? Uh, fuel is this guy? No, fuel is this guy, that's fuel. Whoops. Producing X a minute. And orange guy. Fuel consuming X a minute. Okay. So that would mean I would need the generators. I could maybe do the generators on the floor above. Although I will say pumping liquids up is kind of annoying, but 
Is that what I would want to do? Have a bunch of, uh... Whatchamacallits on this floor? Um... What, 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 what words am I trying to use? Uh, fuel generators and refineries. Where are you guys off? Probably because you're not getting enough coke. Yeah, not enough coke is being made. Okay. Uh, you could probably have 53 fuel generators instead of 80 if it was turbo fuel instead of fuel, but you're right, it would have been more complicated than just making more. So if I were to do this... This would be a really, really la a large floor. Hmm. Whatever we're going to build is going to be really big. That's what she said. So I need to figure out how I want to set this up. Because uh, fuel does take water, right? So if we just make fuel, we get polymer resin plus 40 fuel per minute. Residual fuel is from heavy oil residue. Hmm. Petroleum coke is from heavy oil residue. I wonder if I want to get rid of my petroleum coke. <clears throat> Diluted fuel takes water. I don't have that one yet unlocked. Right? I don't think I do. Liquid biofuel. Water and solid biofuel. Why would you ever do that since you can't automate gathering biofuel? Maybe it's a way to sink stuff you have. Maybe is why you do that. Smokeless powder takes black powder plus heavy oil residue. Okay, I'm going to eventually need that too. Heavy oil residue. So I actually get no oil residue from straight to fuel. I get polymer resin, which I know is used in a few things for, what is it? Uh, polymer resin is used for something. Okay, you can turn that into plastic or rubber, I think. Recycled plastic is... Oh, you can turn rubber into plastic, okay. The other one worth getting is a heavy oil residue alternate. You can make it directly from crude instead of as a byproduct. Okay. I honestly am kind of thinking about going and looking for more hard drives because I think there's a lot of alternate recipes I, I feel like I need before I get into fuel power. How's my power with what we just got? Our batteries are charging, so the geothermal feels like it's going to keep us safe here. I might spend the last little bit over an hour just going around looking for hard drives because I feel like I feel like there's a lot of alternate recipes I want. I definitely want alternate oil processing, you think? Let's do that. We've done a lot of automating today, so we'll take a break. So it's going to be exploration, find heavy, uh, heavy um, uh, hard drives for us to stream. Um, I know one of them takes supercomputers. So let's make seven supercomputers and go grab that one and then just go start searching in areas we haven't searched for yet because we need a lot of uh, alternate recipes. Like, I, I wish I had had... The pure copper one. Um, since that's, I think, more efficient to use water plus copper like we did the Caterium. Yay, time to find goodies. Yay. All right, let's, uh, let's empty our inventory of some stuff. Let me plug this back in. And hope it doesn't turn on everything that will overload our grid. I don't think it will. Our generation is actually with the geothermal things getting close to covering all that, so that's that's good. We'll turn that guy back on. All right, I don't want this uh, wood and leaves in our inventory. Uh, 
I don't need quite so many copper sheets and all that. So we're gonna kind of dump a bunch of stuff before we go out exploring. So plenty of inventory space for slugs and other things. This. I will keep the motors on me. Don't need that many circuit boards. Okay, let me make the seven supercomputers real quick, since I know we can get one with that. I need the high-speed connectors, so I need 21 high-speed connectors. More quick wire. Basic oil processing is pretty inefficient. Is that what I'm doing, basic oil processing? Are you, do you mean oil directly into fuel? The one that gives you fuel and residual whatever? Is that what, is that what you're talking about? All right, hopefully it's the last time I have to do any too much manual crafting now, hopefully. All right, what do I need? Seven supercomputers. So I'm just gonna watch this number go from three to four to five to six to seven. The default recipes, they're all pretty inefficient. Okay, I mean, it makes sense. We put the effort into finding alternate recipes. They should be rewarding, be more efficient and better. Alternates are really powerful, makes sense. There we go. Okay. What do I want to take around with me? I, I feel like I should just have one stack of every like mid to high tier item. So we gotta have the heavy modular frames. I can throw this partial stack out. We have motors, rotors, stators. Maybe get a stack of AI limiters. Maybe get a stack of computers. Um, I have a stack of the circuit boards. 300 crude makes 200 plastic or rubber with basic recipes. They can make 900 with alternates. Wow, okay. That's pretty darn good. Okay, do this. Do this. Do this. Make sure we have a stack of this. A stack of rubber. Okay, do I think that's good? Uh, circuit boards. Okay. I'm a little worried about running out of inventory space. Let me throw one more stack of a couple random things in here. Like copper pipes and... Uh, these guys. Maybe not the, need that many motors, even maybe the quick wire. So I'm gonna go grab, what did I drop off earlier? The other rebar and stuff. Oh, I wanna have automated wiring, versatile framework, and smart plating on me, because it's possible we need those for something. Okay, let's go searching. The first one is the, where is it? Hard drive supercomputers. Let's go grab those. Fuel is similar. 300 crude to 200 fuel with basic versus 800 with alternates. Okay. Well, if we get the right alternate recipes today, maybe on Thursday we can focus on getting fuel power with some good, stronger... Gas mask, 138 megawatts, and two heat sinks. I have heat sinks. I can make that happen. That's another one. 138 megawatts is a lot of uh, those generators, but we can do that. I have heat, sink heat sinks. Um, with alternate recipes, maybe we can get fuel power started next time. Okay. 
I might need crystal oscillators for some. I feel like I would need more than that. Let me actually make a couple of crystal oscillators before we go. Keep saying we're going to go, and then I turn around and don't go. I have not automated the oscillators yet. I don't know if I should. There's nothing I've needed oscillators um, consistently for enough to make them, I feel like. Consistently for enough to make them. What an interesting sentence that I'm not even sure if was gr grammatically correct or not. Fair warning, at my tier, the diluted fuel requires packaging and unpackaging steps to make that happen, but in tier 7 you can do it much easier with a blender alternate recipe. <coughs> Diluted fuel. Okay. A blender. Okay. Wait, 11 high-speed connectors. I could make those too. <laughs> uh, you know what? I want all these things. I better make 11 high-speed connectors. God, I keep forgetting that the only one I can't do is the super oscillators or whatever. Uh, High-speed connectors. Do I have any on me? Do I have any I didn't turn into supercomputers? No. Okay. High-speed connectors. 11. Eventually, I'll actually go out and get these things. I promise. I should have looked at all these before I kept moving out. That quick wire that I threw in there, is that still in here? Yes, let's take that. Okay. I promise I actually am going to go out and explore and not just look at ting, 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 ting all day. 10, 11. There we go. Okay, heat sinks, supercomputers, high speed connectors. Okay. How many um, biomass generators can I make? Enough, I think. Those do 30 megawatts, so I'd need like four to six at most for what I'm going for. I think that's, I think we're fine on that. All right, which one's closest? High-speed connector is just over here. Let's go do that one. Yeah, I can't do that one. This one's right over here. Beautiful. Okay. 112 megawatts. Let's get that set up outside of the radiation that's killing us here 112 megawatts so 30 times four one two three four you know it's it's low end radiation it's not that bad totally not that bad Like we're at the suntan place. Beautiful. Good start. Now I can remove this marker. Perfect. Get these guys back. Get the ma'am started. And go do the next one. Beautiful. Alright, where's the next one? Probably the supercomputers or the heat sinks. Okay, heat sinks are there. Let's 
go towards that one. There's one hard drive out there that needs like 450 megawatts to open. You think they intended you just hook it up to your power grid, but everyone just builds a platform, puts down 15 biomass <laughs> burners. It's probably what I'll do. <laughs> it's so much easier. There's a slug. Purple slug. Is this in radiation or something? You know what? There's probably spiders supposed to be attacking me right over here. Pretty sure last time I was in here, there were a bunch of spiders. Okay, there it is. So it needs 138 megawatts. So that is 30 times 5. I think I need 5 biomass generators here. 1, 2, 3, 4. It's just so much easier to do it this way. Uh, I feel like I missed one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did get them all. Okay. Do a Mark II power pole there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm spoiled by not getting attacked from these things. Well, uh, I also have to do, deal with power and poison and all that stuff. Pick up these wires, why not? Anything else I want to pick up here? I don't really care about the bacon agaric. I'm benefiting from the broken spider spawns. I really am, yeah. When I first found these, there were spiders and some of the, um, what were they called before? Flyers or spawners or whatever. So that's part of the reason I didn't get them. I mean, I didn't have the materials either, but... This guy we just got, so we can remove that marker. Superposition oscillators. I don't know what's here, but seven supercomputers, so we got to go for that one next. East, why do I not see it? I feel like sometimes these markers just don't come up on your map for whatever reason. Let me have this. Scanning as we go as well. On Thursday, if we were going to do this, I would have uh, a lot, a lot more painful stuff to deal with. Because yeah, I'm pretty sure all, where all this red, gross stuff water is is uh, where spiders like to live and radiation and all that stuff. They're called flying crabs. Okay. Hmm. This one I haven't seen yet? This might be one I hadn't actually marked yet. Hey, looky here. Nice. Glad I got some oscillators there. Perfect. Uh, let's grab stuff off the ground. Reinforced iron plates. Free motors. We're in poisony stuff. Heat sinks. Give me the heat sinks. Yes. Things I can't make yet are very nice. Okay. All right. Nice. That was an extra one we didn't have. They don't look like crabs at all, but that's just the dev's name for them. It's a good bug, just leave the game as is. There's enough spiders here. <laughs> I should totally not ever change that or fix that. Okay, it's down this way. Yeah, why is that one not showing up? I feel like that beacon is borked. Got a borked beacon. the best bug. The bug that makes there be no bugs. My favorite bug. 
A bug that removes all bugs. Okay, is this the one? This is the one, so I'm just going to remove this since apparently it's not even showing up anyway. Radiation. All right, I'll wait. It's just that. Oh, come on. Beautiful. There's a lot of screws in this area. Radio control units. Interesting. Oh, ow. Don't stand literally on top of the uranium. That's a bad idea. Okay, so there we go. We got all the ones that I had marked already, I think. So if I want to look for more, I probably need to head down into the dark this way. I don't have superposition oscillators. I'm not sure what this beacon's supposed to be. Let's start heading southeast-ish. Into this biome over here. With that exposure, we might see RAN 119 soon. Or RAN 118 become a and X-Men, which would be awesome. Which always reminds me of the Family Guy episode where, I think it was like a Halloween episode or something, where Adam West rolls around in, in, uh, in nuclear fallout. He's like, so what superpower did I get? You have cancer. Yeah, but what superpower? You have cancer. But I rolled around nuclear waste. That's why you have cancer. Okay, somewhere over here there's one. It's only a little radiation. What could go wrong? What could possibly... I can't think of a single thing. Cancer. There it is. Ooh, that's a bunch of you dudes. Wow! There's a lot more of these guys than there used to be. Okay, what's what do we need? A single motor, beautiful. Battery. Screws, not enough space. I'm already out of space. I hear you growling. Do you want some of this? Because I'll give you some of this. Okay. Alright, because I have so many screws. And we're going to find screws everywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and drop those. Watch the frames. Just drop a single one. There is no RAND 119. Only 118. RAND 1885. So many choices. Your lymph nodes are super. Not working the way they should. <laughs> All right, is this guy done yet? Minute and a half. Okay. Nope. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see. What we got next. Heading. Continue to head southeast. Pieboy fifty seven can never take over because Pieboy fifty six is too OP. Ooh, we got some iron here. Oh no, bauxite. Even better. Okay. Let's. Oh, I have the shatter stuff. Uh, I need to swap to stun rebar. I want to mark this bauxite. Because it's outside of my range. Oh yeah, I can stun and then I can... Do no damage, apparently. Let's try this once again. There. Bam! Okay. Still didn't kill him. It's probably just better to use a sword, honestly. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Alright, so we got an impure bauxite here. So let me mark this. Ah, there's the man. Okay. Uh, map marker. There. Impure bauxite. 
icon stamps this guy apply one eighteen rand Ognogson noble gas last one. Oh wait one eighteen is the Ognesson noble gas okay cool Rubber concrete, adhered iron plate, steel rotor. We've been looking for these steel rotors. I feel like I got them a little late, but if we need to expand our rotor production, this is, I think, what we want to use. If I hold the, if you hold an obelisk, you throw it further. Ah, okay. Like a true Texan dynamite, big game hunting, like an extension of dynamite fishing. That's right. Okay. All right, go back to... Oops, did you reload? No, gotta wait for the animation to finish. Did you finish? Finish the damn animation. Thank you. No, no animation canceling in this game. All right, southeast. Every time I go out exploring, I'm like, I'm only going to do it for like 15 minutes. And then it's like, it takes you hours. <laughs> the world is just so big in the game, which I love. But it means it's not easily easy to quickly explore, that's for sure. Okay, it's this way. I will say it's so much better to explore when you have a jetpack, though. It's up that way. I think it is up that way. Man, I'm almost out of, uh, filter. Well, not almost out of filters. Whoa! He's stuck in the world and he's yelling about it. Okay. In Texas, the police will tase you. Then while you're in capacity, capacity, take the opportunity to get a clean shot. Okay. Okay, where is it? I think it's up there. Uh, I think I need to build a ramp for this. I think I'm... Okay, I'm trying to do this without building a ramp, without nerd pulling like we're minecrafting. And I feel like I'm about to run out of space. Okay, let's just go ahead and nerd pull because I don't want to fall off. Okay, come on, right, right, right there. There. Uh, ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Most of the time, if there's grass, you can stand there. Okay. Is it up here? There it is. And who's who's guarding it? Big giant you dude. <laughs> Can't one shot it, but it's still fun. Bring it on, bro. Two shot. Get blasted. There's something weird going on. It looks like there's two versions of him. I don't know, maybe that's just the loot. Looking funky. Do I care about hog remains? No, I don't have space to care about that. Okay, heat sinks. Boop, boop, doo, doo, doo. <sighs> nice! Just 20 megawatts and we got it. And power. This. That. And there. Time for fun facts. The Sith Six Sheiks Six Sheeps Six is believed to be the toughest tongue twister in the English language. 
I believe it, because I don't even think I said all those words. Not even sure I know how to pronounce some of those words, honestly. Sh chic. Sh chic, is that how you say that? Or is it chic? She I don't even know how to say that. Um, do I care about anything else? Yes, heat sinks. Okay, very nice. Oh, and this is a summer sloop. I guess I'll get this so it'll stop making noises. Not enough room. I strongly advise you to harvest this specimen. One second. And I will totally do that. The tough one, you got pretty good at tongue twisters when your kid's favorite book was Fox and the Socks. The trick is to be very deliberate about pronouncing complete syllables, but that's a very hard one to say even after a few tries. Yes. Definitely seems like tongue twister I will never even try to attempt to get right. <laughs> it is chic. Okay. As in you're very fashionable and chic. Comply. I did comply. All right, anything. Okay, so we've been heading southeast. Have a really good view from here. Let's continue. Now that's an interesting, like, let's, is that the mushroom biome over there? It's weird to see it all not fully loaded. Let's do a big old jump to our hopefully not death. Looks like that's coal. Is that coal? I definitely want to mark that on my map. Oh, wait, is that a Samite vein? Holy crap. I didn't know there were veins of that. I don't know if it's used for anything yet, but that's the first time I've seen that. Sam or vein. I think that's supposed to be, what, like, actual story mode stuff. It's a normal vein, but... The jump will be fine. Auto save splat, right? Yeah. Well, let me click on this thing. Come on. Let me click on it. Jesus. It's normal. Yep. I see one. But it's not coming up. Have I already got this one? Or, okay, maybe it's further down is the actual... Wait. Is this a clue that there's one below me? It's tied to the story. If you try to mine it, the miner actually stops running about 50 to 100 ore extracted. You assume the samurai will be used to produce superposition oscillators. Oh, can you not even make those yet? Jump, do it. I would, but I need to find out where I need to jump to. Which in turn will be used for teleporters or remote storage or something, as well as quantum computers. Okay. Hmm. I feel like there should be a thing around here, but I'm not getting a ping. Am I on the right thing? Okay, there it goes. Wait, it showed up for a second. Maybe it thought I was when I was on something else, and it's got a weird delay. I guess that's a cheesy, you don't actually get anything one not actually a hard drive that looks like death if i go down there that looks like a you fall down to oblivion so we're not going to go down there i did want to check just to see if my thing would start pinging on me Superposition oscillators and quantum computers can't be made yet, but they've been given out as random gifts during the Fixmas uh, event the last two years. Ah, okay. Okay, I did not get nearly as far as I was hoping with that jump, but that's fine. You can't do the slide jump when you're going up on ramps. I keep trying to do that and you can't do that in the course of an average lifetime while sleeping you might eat around 70 assorted insects and 10 spiders or more yummy hey you know what it's good good protein it's 
It's good protein. And if I don't taste it, it's no big deal. <laughs> I see a slug. With a guy protecting it. Take damage, I'm just gonna grab it. Ninja loot. You love exploring? It's pretty fun. Oh, God. I, you know what? I remember this place. I think I've got this one last time I played. Oh, my autosave lag, Batman. Okay, I think they, those guys get a two shot, right? Yes. Okay, let's get our sword out for this guy. Beautiful. Alright, that should be good enough to get stuff. Oh, inventory space. Let me throw down some copper wire. Beautiful. Oh, I need 73 megawatts, though. And uh, I have my man is ready. You start to wonder if that's just one of those nonsense sayings, the cheek thing. Can you mod this game? There, you could in the past. I don't know what the current state of modding is. Steel coated plates, silicon high speed connectors, and bio coal. I don't really care about bio coal at all. Why would I ever want to turn steel back into iron? That seems weird. I'm going to guess alternate blueprint silicon high speed connectors is probably my best bet, especially since I'm about ready to want to automate these. You love how I froze him with his mouth open and threw a bomb right in there. Very Starship Troopers. <laughs> totally planned, man. Totally planned. All right, 70... 70 something. So that would be um, 30 times what, 3. 3 uh, bio things. 1, 2, 3. I don't have room to split those. Okay, that I guess. Okay, this, 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 and this. Bye, M. Silicon high-speed connectors are great. Steel plates produce a ton of plates in one machine. Ah, okay, so it's for efficiency of... Probably speedily producing more in a smaller amount, smaller area or something like that is what that's good for. I guess I can see that. It seems expensive to use steel to make iron plates, but maybe it's a small amount of steel it requires. Okay, let's see here. Back to... Reload. Reload. And scan. Okay, where are we? We are we're pretty much at the southeast corner of the map, so I think I need to head up this way. I think it's 150 plates per minute in one assembler. It replaces an entire production line for just a little plastic. You can also replace all iron products with a steel variant, so you don't need two types of ingots. The yield is better too. That makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Okay, I have space for you. Get solid steel ingot and make everything into steel you can. Do I have solid steel ingots yet? I don't know if I have that. Uh, um, recipe yet. That's that's definitely one I need to get if I don't. Wow, this swampy area looks different. I don't remember being so dark and muggy and gross in this biome. Not picking you up. Why is it on power slug? Stop changing. Hope I didn't just miss some. There would probably be spiders all over this place if I was not in the bugged out version of the game right now. What? Pick up... Oh, that's my cilia. Oh, okay. Because they look like gross spider eggs or something. I feel like I'm at the edge of the map about to fall off the world. 
well. That's kind of still what it looks like over here. Yeah, this looks like I should not be going over here. Looks like they're still working on this area. Uh, you like salt steel ingot, but you hate the extra stop of refining the iron ingots. Usually go with regular steel or coke. Salt steel reduce building count and power usage, though. Salt steel ingot, you have to smelt iron into iron ingots, then combine iron into coal. To make a better yield of steel, extra step, more power, better return on your coal. Cool. All right, something. There it is. I see it. Yo, dog. Happy birthday. Whee! Got a present for you. Whoopa ham! <laughs> that's definitely the most fun way to kill those guys. 100% that's the most fun way. Alright, is it this? Do I have to open it from... Okay, what do I got? Super position oscillators, five of them. I have not learned to make those, so let's put that on the map. Uh, five super position oscillators, something like that. Um, this guy. Okay, so can't get that one. I don't think I even unlocked that recipe yet. Um, power is less with solid steel due to... Oh, that's copper ore. Is there are multiple copper things over here. I see one. I'll just mark that one on my map. I will have to disagree with you, Factoid, when you said um, the radar makes beacons obsolete because it's pretty high power and they're not the greatest range. They're decent range, but... I mean, I guess I could, like, plop one down and power it real quick, but it doesn't, like, show everything on the map or anything. That's a normal copper. And that select fly. Uh, northeast. Uh, power is less with solid steel due to higher yield. Solid steel uses less power per ingot than regular. You need to check that, though. I'm not going to mark limestone because I don't care about that as much. Map edges where all the bad kids hang out smoking their reefers. <laughs> okay. Filters are super low power. You save on foundry count and they draw way more. What do we got? Two supercomputers. Well, damn. Can I make supercomputers with what I have on me? I might be able to. Let's kill you first, though. Well, that was the worst throw ever. A lot of key presses for this combo, but it is cool when it, when I can make it work. Okay. All right. Hopefully, I have enough random materials on me to make two supercomputers. I need six high-speed connectors. Looks like I have just enough quick wire. Uh, I don't have space in my inventory, so I gotta drop, uh, I don't know, this. Six of these guys. It'll, it also tells you if there's any hard drives in the area. There's still some stuff you need to mark. It lets you know the status of all your sources. Uh, sorry, I didn't read all that. What'd you say? There's still some stuff you need to mark, but it lets you know the status of all your resources. If you the power draws are high early game, tells if you there's any hard drives in the area. 
You unlock turbo reefers. That's what you put in your turbo smokers that you built just beyond the edge of the map. Okay. Great. Okay, let's go use the supercomputers up. Beautiful. I don't think I'll be able to make any more supercomputers if, if that's required for any more of these builds. Any other random good resources out here? Out of space. Out of space. Out of space. Like heat sinks and those things are the ones I'm looking for here. Oh, uh, I thought that might have been computers or supercomputers. Nope, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you know that McDonald's once made bubblegum flavored broccoli? Kids who were testing it were confused by the taste. <laughs> okay. Hey, there's geothermal. Uh, well, it looks like, yeah, I'm going to mark this. I'm going to mark this. Uh, what are you? Pure geothermal. Oh, man. That was a whiff. If they run through that, do they get stuns? I'm going to guess probably not. This way, it's faster. It doesn't use ammo. Okay, here we go. Pure geyser. <laughs> Pure geo geyser. And that's fine. Uh, let's go with the um, do 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 this guy. I think there was a thing close to us. Yep, it's right there. Uh, is my MAM ready, by the way? Yes, it is. Solid Steel Inga, there it is. There's Compacted Steel as well. Like how their version of Stunned is exactly the same as Subnautica. The creature's idle animation still runs, but they're rooted in place. Coated Iron Caster. All right, Steel, Solid Steel, or Comp... Oh, Jesus Christ, game, seriously. Give me a break. He's gonna run right up on me, eh? All right, where's the other one? If you all wanted some, come get some. Come get some. Broccoli favored, flavored bubblegum. Okay, so this is iron ore and compacted coal. This is iron ingots and just regular coal. 60 per minute, 37.5 per minute. So compacted coal um, is sulfur plus coal. Well, I feel like these are both good. I think I am going to go for this one, though, even though I have to go from iron to the other one, just because the production rate's higher. Probably eventually want both. I don't know if I'm going to have a preferred one. All right. Uh, 42 megawatts and whew, just enough oscillators that we have. Let's go one and two. I swear, no matter how much inventory space I have, I'd never have enough inventory space. Uh, there. Where am I? Where am I hooking up to? I feel like I got turned around. There it is. Beautiful. All this eagle and get sulfur is a little rare. I need it for late game stuff. Well, you know, I have a decent amount of sulfur already marked on marked on my map, and I actually have a place where I'm mining it where I could get more. But solid steel does seem really good, though. 
All right, where are we? Where are we? We are really far from home. So probably I'll go a little bit further up northeast and then we'll start heading our way back home. What the hell is that? It's like a pottery jar or something. Oh, it's the bulbs of these trees. Okay. I do remember this biome. I set up some oil, potentially, in this biome or something. Mercer Sphere, I don't care. Slug, I do kind of care. But I'm going to need to make inventory space to do that, I believe. Why does it sound like I'm walking in water? I can never, I never remember what's made in these things. I kind of wish craft bench and workbench were combined. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of troll that it's two different benches that make different stuff. Uh, I should have just left that there actually because I'm going to want to make that eventually. I'm just going to want to turn this immediately into whatever. It's quicksand? Do I, am I sinking? Wrong one every time. Only mod you installed on update 6 are the extended inventory slots mod and permaday. Samsung test phone durability with a butt-shaped robot. Interesting how far they go to test phones and apparently it wears jeans. Okay, that's... I thought you were going to make a pun. But that's just an interesting fact, I guess. A butt-shaped robot because people put their phones in their back pockets? Is that why? I feel like... Okay, this, there is one in this direction. Who would ever... Who would ever wear their... Or put their phone in their back pocket? Seems like a terrible idea. Um, did I hit you? I'm not sure if I hit you. Apologies to anybody in chat who sits on their phone, <laughs> but why would you choose to do that? Seems like the worst pocket to put your phone in. Beautiful. Thank goodness it's something I just have. Okay, take those guys. High speed connectors, absolutely, we want to take with us. Um, ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. That'll let us actually make some supercomputers, I think, if I need to. It's great. You're attempting to lull me into false sense of security, strike at me when I least expect it. Ah, okay. So you can have the... Because you are the pun ninja, I forgot. You're just joking, it's not actually quicksand? Okay. Not enough space. Gosh, this, I guess. I don't think he can get me up here. Apparently, I can't build up here either, though. <laughs> Don't. Could you just pick up leaves? Don't pick up leaves. Do not want leaves. I picked the wrong one every time. I cannot. Does anybody have a mnemonic device to remind yourself which thing the miners are made in and which thing the power slugs are made in? Because I, I cannot keep track. I have to build one. See that I chose incorrectly and then build the other one every single time. Ooh, looks like we got coal over here. That's an impure, an impure, and a, an impure. Okay, two impure coals. Okay. 
Okay. Two impure coal. Bam and bam. Uh, it's often the only pocket they have access to. Wait, what? You're tempting to... Women do it all the time. If it goes on your body or your hands, it's in the workshop. Body or hands, it's in the workshop. Okay, I'll try to remember that. Body or hands workshop. You do work with your body and your hands in the workshop. Cool, I have space for this. Wait, do I have to explode this? <laughs> it's... Oh, wait, do I chainsaw this? No, I think I might have to explode it. Here we go. If it works, it's in the workshop. If it works in your hands, it's in the workshop. So, craft bench does not work in my hands with a power shard. So, there. Work in the workshop. Hand work. Work hand. Got over here some normal coal and pure. Pure and normal coal. Pretty sure I mined this and had a steel thing or something on my last uh, playthrough. This is one of the places my train ran. Pure and normal coal. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. And if I fall there, I feel like that would be bad. I definitely remember having a train set up over here somewhere. Yep, I remember this area very well. I remember setting up a... Tr I think I set up a train station here to pick up materials or something. Chainsaw worked on those. The thing that I exploded? Okay. <laughs> oh, well. I'm being very liberal with my um, obelisks, I guess. I'm going to look for one more hard drive. If we get one more hard drive, we'll call it good. I'm not even going to mark all these irons out here. Because I'm probably going to set up... Is this copper or iron? Yeah, pure iron. I'm probably going to set up a radar out here before I... Do my train and just so I can see where everything is because I just know there's tons of great resource nodes out here in the desert area. I think there might be one over in this water area, maybe. It's a slug. Yeah, my last playthrough is all, all around close to this biome. Are you a blue power slug? You are. Just ignore the spawner behind me because you spawn nothing. You do nothing. Good day, sir. 70 megawatts. Okay. So that is... Three power things. Probably get, take me a good 20 minutes to get back home, so. Let me throw these guys on the ground. Let's just split this. Because we can also, on our way home, look for uh, any other hard drives we've missed. Okay. 
I'm gonna leave those seven on the ground so I can have a little bit of space in my inventory. Okay, so hard drive. Where's home sweet home? It's this way. So we're just gonna beeline it to it, hit any hard drives in between us and that. 1.21 gigawatts! <laughs> and that's what we call a callback, since we were talking about Christopher Lloyd earlier in the stream. You got silica circuit boards today? You love that alternate? Yeah, that's what I'm using for my circuit boards, is silica, I think. It's, what, silica plus copper sheets, I think? That's what we set up. It's the first thing I've used my quartz... Uh, Four. Yeah, it's a good recipe. I got some stuff over there. I feel like I'm going to be walking over areas I've been before, so I might not get any more hard drives on the way. You do like a good callback. So many good resource nodes out here in the desert. I can't wait to set my train up here. So next stream is probably going to be setting up fuel power. The stream after that, if I get the fuel power done, might be starting the, laying the groundwork for a crazy long um, what you would call it? Uh, railroad Thing. So let's do a gentle, let's see if I can actually set up a gentle incline. So this is kind of the direction we're going to need to go anyway. It's out of my visual range here get up to that. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one I can climb up. Which will hopefully give me range on building up. Here we go. That is a very gradual slope there. Holy crap. <laughs> the trade might need that much though, maybe. That is one gradual slope. Future Rand, I do this for you. I hope you appreciate my forward thinking. You might like not, might not might not like money, but HMRC just keep giving me it. I have no idea what that means. What the hell is HMRC? Is that your job? Okay. All right, that is a very gradual slope that we will probably eventually put train tracks on. Why would you do anything for Rich Rand? What has he ever done for me? It's true. It's a good question. You make a good point. Pass Rand. Now, he's done something for me. But sometimes he's pretty lazy, though. I don't even know if this is actually going to be usable for our train, but we'll see. Actually, the gradual is how we'd want to go back up, right? Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't even quite get us as high as we need to go, but it's something. It's the groundwork for something. Maybe something useful, maybe. I think for going down, we'll be able to use steep. Well, actually, there might be a, a gradient that railroad tracks have uh, a limit that they can go up or down. Future Rand will probably not, probably not going to appreciate your work at all. We'll have to move that gentle slope somewhere else. Yeah, and he'll probably make wise cracks about past Rand. God. Future Rand. What a jerk. All right, at least we do get one more over here. 
Do we really not have a man available? Or did did I just have not checked it? Oh, I didn't start a new one. How stupid of past Rand. I mean me. Okay, let's see. Anybody we need to stun over here? Who wants some? Anybody? No? Okay. Must be spiders or the other guys. Motors, easy, beautiful. Okay. Anything you want to pick up? Any larger frames? Computers, yes. Any heat sinks or other high tech stuff like that? I don't care about copper wire, cables, sure. Because that's all. This way. Sending trains down the four meter slope is supposed to make them go super fast. Okay, that's what I'm hoping I can do is send them down the four meter slope and build up a lot of momentum so that later on we'll, you know, be able to get up the gentle slopes. Look at this lovely oasis in the desert up here. I have a feeling. I'll probably need to get across this area. So let me go ahead and build a platform now. That green area over there looks like a giant copper... Uh, whatchamacallit? Um, giant copper vein or something. You like trains, you have a shirt that says so. Really? Wow. It's been a, it's been a long time since ever anyone's used a swag uh, coat. Quote, well, well done, pie boy. Well done. Uh, okay, so let's do the gradual slope here. That is very gradual. Maybe a little too gradual. Uh, I want to check to see if I missed any of these. Yep. I thought that might be the case. Uh, wait, no. Was that sensing something else, I guess? I think it must have been on slugs. Um, how much more of this do I want to do? I, I don't have that many more of those, so I'm just going to end with that. So we'll have this. We know this will work our way over up to the desert. I'm actually going to make a marker here. Marker. Ramp to desert. Desert, 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 desert. That. Ooh, doo -doo -doo for our train, I guess. Something like that. Okay, ramp to desert. And let's get back home. Probably get one last ma'am thing going. We've gotten a good amount of uh, hard drives, though. So that was a quite lucrative trip. I have eight more, and I've done like three or four all in the meantime, so that was pretty nice. Got a bunch of slugs. Some ninja loot. Ninja pie loots. And we're out. Oh. Another one. Ninja loots. Oh, that's not going to work. Ouch. Okay. Okay. Okay, that didn't seem to do much. It's fine. All right, we got there. Where's our base? 
it's this way. Ouch. Ninja foiled. Uh, yes. All right. So we've already gotten this one. Yeah. Nice. We're getting we're getting back to area we've covered already since we're getting close to our base. This way. Do I have a ramp over here? I do. Guess I'll grab this summer sloop so it won't make annoying noises at me. Yes, they foiled my ninja looting by headbutting my arse. Anyone else doing Redactyl? What is that? Is that a game? Alright, so next time we play, hopefully one of these hard drives will um, give us Oh, is it we're looking for alternate uh, fuel recipes? Maybe it's um, oil directly into heavy oil residue or something, which might give us a lot of fuel. Redactyl.com, okay. Let's see how our power grid is currently doing. With the geothermal and everything flowing. Whew, okay. Wow, our power is peaking at our max possibility of power usage, so that's looking really good. Um, Ma'am, you got three minutes. Let me throw some uh, stuff here. We got power shards. You're here again. Welcome back, Vega. Right, right at the end of the stream. I have a lot of heavy modular frames. Let's store some of the excess stuff. Oh, we're full up on heavy modular frames, actually. Okay. Okay. Let me let me throw some of the higher tech stuff into here, like computers, extra oscillators, summer sloops, heavy modular frames, these guys I'm putting over here. That, that, that. Uh, heat sinks and batteries can go in here. Did your pipeline tips come in useful? Yes, we used, uh, we did use it. I'll show, well, let's go check. I did some Caterium upgrading, Caterium mining upgrading. Let's go check how that's looking. Make sure that's looking good. Um, and I use an altered recipe for pure Caterium, which requires water. So... I, uh, I think I used a little bit of your, uh, what is it called? Static pressure stuff. I think everything's backed up, so it's probably not going to really show it flowing at full capacity, but basically what I did is I pumped water straight up from those guys and then had it go straight and then go down over there so it's not it never goes up after we pump it so we don't have to pump anymore after the initial vertical pumping and it looks like it's flowing well so we pumped it up and then have it go straight across it was static pressure we don't need to pump it going straight across this guy full that guy's full and then it goes a little bit down to supply all that so it did your pipeline tutorial definitely helped. Let me go check. I'm kind of just killing time to get one last ma'am uh, alternate recipe here, I think. And we got geothermal, uh, a start of geothermal up today, which took a lot of... Um... <laughs> Manually crafting supercomputers. Let's see how many computers we built up in this time. Computers and 
uh, well, computers is the main one, but heavy modular frames was full. Do we, uh, computers and, there's go, there we go, ma'am's done. Computers and something else. Beautiful. Look at all them computers, boys. These guys. Circuit boards. Computers and circuit boards are looking good. I want to check if my computers are running at 100% capacity after I fixed the quick wire uh, belt earlier. Compact steeling kits, charcoal, and automated miner. <clears throat> why would I ever want that? Can't think of why I would want that. Let's get the compact steeling kits. Why would I ever want an, uh, a different... I guess maybe if you stop making iron, you'd use steel for that or something. Your camp compact steel of coal, I guess. It's all look kind of crap, honestly. Forgot to mention it, but you, I implemented it correctly, which is that tanks will correctly relay static pressure just like valves do. Cool. Let's go check to see if our computers are running at 100%, which would give us 7.5 a minute computers, I think. I need to unlock more stuff to get more recipes. I'm pretty sure there's recipes I haven't got yet that I... Well, maybe you're right. Like oil. Like the one I want is oil stuff. Like I don't know why I don't have those unlocked yet. Okay, those are backed up. So that's the computers I'm checking. Are you wearing it 100%? Please tell me you are. 100%. 100%. Hundred percent, beautiful. All right. So all our work today did lead to seven point five computers a minute, which is great. Did I unlock fuel yet? I mean, I can. I can do fuel. I have crude oil directly to fuel, so. I'm pretty sure I should be able to get the alternate fuel recipes. Um, I have turbo fuel unlocked. I've gotten a couple alternate, like recycled plastic, recycled rubber. I know those are really good for a bigger rubber build later. Alternate polymer resin. So I've unlocked some of the oil products. I feel like I should start unlocking fuel ones. So if I have time off stream, I might just log in just to let these ma'am things go. Um, one thing I kind of want to do eventually, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, is a lot of this stuff that's backed up here that should be recycling is not because I just don't have fast enough belts. I might want to do a secondary recycling awesome sink off the side somewhere here. How did the picture end up in jail? It was framed. Nice. Nice. You Dell sized the video so it's public. I'm not sure what that word means, but you made it publicized. Good. So other people can uh, can check out your your. Uh... Oh man, my brain is so broken. At the end of a satisfactory day, doing all the math, so anybody can see it. That's great. Delisted. Oh, oh, okay. Took it off of the de unlisted. You took it off of unlisted. Okay. Well, my friends, since my brain is broken and it's 5 o'clock, 3 till, I am going to call that a day. We got computers automated. That's great. Next time we play, hopefully we can get some alternate fuel recipes. I'm going to try to offline just let this idle for a bit so I can get some more of the ma'am recipes unlocked because I just want to get fuel, uh, alternate fuel recipes. So I hope you had fun. If there's anybody new to the stream, I hope you hit the follow. I did miss a follow a while ago. Simrian, if you're still around, thank you for the follow. Tomorrow we're going to play some FTL Harbor. No pause. Thursday is going to be a shorter stream because I have a rehearsal for a gig. So I'm probably going to go till only about three. So hopefully we can like start a fuel build on Thursday for us to work on when I have more time. Uh, am I working out, picking things up, putting them down? I'm doing my best. What's the computer's favorite snack? Computer chips. Delicious. Amazing. All right. On that note, on the puns and... Terrible jokes. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for hanging out, Nietzsche. I'm going to head out. So y'all are amazing. I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Like I always say, thank you for everything. Bits, follows, subs. Deuce, thank you for the follow. Uh, gifted subs. Just lurking, hanging out. Punning me until I roll my eyes until my head falls off. 
But uh, you all enjoy this sea shanty. And until next time, peace out, happy gaming, and I will see you for some salty FTL tomorrow. You're rock. Have a great night, my friends. Thanks for the follow. Well run for, for fun as well. Appreciate it. Later, my friends.